Now we see the next topic for today that is coordinate bond. Coordinate bond is also known as dative bond. You can also refer to it as a special type of a covalent bond. So what is special or what is different about this bond? Let us see. We will first begin with the definition. A bond formed when a pair of electron is donated by one atom but shared between both the bonded atoms is known as a coordinate bond. It is also known as a dative bond or a co-ionic bond. Now why is it called co-ionic bond? It's called co-ionic bond because it shows properties both of ionic bonds as well as covalent bonds. So it has something that ionic bond has. It has some properties like covalent bonds. Now let us see what is it. To understand a coordinate bond, the first thing is a concept of lone pair should be very clear. So what's a lone pair? It's a pair of electrons that does not take part in chemical bonding. So the pair of electron which does not take part in chemical bonding is called a lone pair. Like let's see the examples we have here. Water molecule has two lone pair of electrons and ammonia molecule has one lone pair of electron. If you see the diagram below, water molecules lone pairs are represented by the yellow dots. So we are seeing there there are two lone pairs that is four electrons. And ammonia molecule has one lone pair shown with the red dots. So these lone pairs, when they are shared, I mean they are transferred to another atom like a hydrogen ion or another proton what we can say, then the bond such formed is called as a coordinate bond. Let's see how it is. So let us first see the hydronium ion. This structure and this entity is very important for us even for the next chapter. What is a hydronium ion? Hydronium ion is formed when a hydrogen ion attaches to a water molecule. So we see water molecule has two lone pair of electrons and the lone pair here shown in the red dots will attach with hydrogen. So hydrogen is coming here, hydrogen ion is coming here without any electrons. And oxygen is the one who is ready to share or to give both the electrons to hydrogen. But will it only give? No, it also needs it. So both of them are sharing. So that is why we see this is a coordinate bond. A coordinate bond is always shown with the arrow mark. Please note the arrow mark between the O and H which is shown in the red color. This is the most important part which you have to mark. To show a coordinate bond. So it's important and a hydrogen ion is electron deficit that is why if you see on the left hand side you see H plus and since it is electron deficit when we add up the entity remains electron deficit that's why it has an overall positive charge. So this is the structure of hydronium ion it's very important uh, even from the next chapter point of view acids and bases because what is an acid? Acid is defined as that substance which when dissolved in water is capable of producing hydronium ions. So what are the hydronium ions? It is the hydrogen ion which reacts with water molecules to give you hydronium ions. So this structure very important from the exam point of view. Electron dot diagrams are very important here. Now there could be a question that will come to your mind. If water molecule has two lone pair of electrons and it can give one lone pair to one hydrogen ion or a H plus, why can't it give the another lone pair to another hydrogen and form perhaps a H4O2 plus? But this does not happen. Now why? Once if one hydrogen ion attaches with water molecule it forms a hydronium ion which is having an overall positive charge. When the entity has an overall positive charge it then repels any other incoming positive hydrogen ion. 
so there is no chance of a H4O2 plus to form and the most stable structure here is the hydronium ion. Now let us see the next one that is the ammonium ion. This is rather simple. Ammonia as we know NH3 it has one lone pair of electron. In this case nitrogen which is having one lone pair shown in the red dots is ready to give both or share both the electrons towards hydrogen. So what we see is unequal sharing. Hydrogen has come, the hydrogen in the red, it's a hydrogen ion, it has come without any electrons. And nitrogen is ready to give both the electrons to hydrogen so that hydrogen's duplet is completed. But since hydrogen is electron deficit and has a positive charge, the entire entity will have a positive charge. So it's important to show the bond, the one which is shown in the red color with the arrow mark and an overall positive charge in the square bracket. Let's see both the structures again. These are the electron dot diagrams for hydronium ion. Let's see the hydronium ion first. So you are having a water molecule with a lone pair of electrons. Okay. So one of the lone pair of electrons is ready to be shared. It attaches with one hydrogen ion without any electrons. Okay. So your hydronium ion, the entire structure which when formed, it still has one lone pair. So if you have a question, name an ion which has a lone pair. So if you are talking of one particular ion which has a lone pair and a positive charge, the answer should be hydronium ion. Please note, the bond has to be always shown where oxygen is the donor of electrons. So the arrow starts from oxygen towards hydrogen, what is circled in the yellow color. Now let us see the electron dot diagram for ammonium ion. The electron dot diagram for ammonium ion is NH3, where NH3 has a lone pair of electrons. It adds up with a hydrogen ion without any electrons. Okay, And the lone pair of electrons between nitrogen and hydrogen. Okay, And hydrogen which has a positive charge. So when we are showing it, the final structure will show that there is an arrow mark from nitrogen towards hydrogen. This is the most important part of the structure. The whole thing needs to be shown in a square bracket with a positive charge on top. Both these electron dot diagrams are very important from exam point of view. So I would like you to draw the structures for these ammonium ion and the hydronium ion.